Breaking news, Pastor David Ibiyome raises member Kennedy Okoko who died undergoing surgery, undergoing liposuction surgery from death. David Ibiyomi and Kennedy Okoko news filtering into uh, their space right now has it that a former PDP governorship aspirant in Bayelsa State, Kennedy Okoko, is alive. Kennedy was raised from death by his pastor and mentor, Pastor David Ibiyomi of the Salvation Ministries, Port Harcourt. It was said that when the news of the death of Mr. Okoko got to his pastor, David Ibiyomi, the pastor who was in a meeting with other ministers, disappeared into his office and immediately called for intercessory marathon. The marathon prayers for a member he regards as his dear son. From yesterday, the 14th of April, when the pastor went into prayers and his prayer warriors and ministers, he didn't step out till a few minutes ago at about 11.40 a.m. Nigerian time, when he got confirmation from the Lagos Hospital where the surgery took place that Kennedy Okoko has risen from the dead. It is, we have been told that this has caused jubilation in the city of Port Harcourt with both members of the church, community men and women, and some of those whose lives had been touched by the man are on the streets rejoicing. This is one of the biggest miracles of 2020 for the Salvation Ministries and for Reverend David Ibiyomi in particular. We pray and wish this piece of news is very true and he, as it would be the desire of his family members, his church and all the people under his care as a humanitarian to see him alive and back on his feet to the glory of God. Bayelsa, the Bayelsa billionaire businessman and philanthropist was rumored to be dead earlier today, has now reportedly woken hours after he died. Reports making the rounds have it that Okoko died on Tuesday during a liposuction surgery in a Lagos hospital. A power outage was blamed for the death. Okoko contested the Bayelsa primary for the governorship ticket of the People's Democratic Party last year, but he did not succeed. He was also a pastor of Salvation Ministries in Port Harcourt. Family members and friends whom he imparted their lives had taken to social media to mourn the billionaire. Michael Osaru Jr. wrote a lengthy tribute. I cannot find the rationale behind the death of a promising and wealthy young man like this who is even a pastor, a giver and a faithful servant of God. Now wow, what a man would do for this life self? Life is absolutely nothing, my brother. Rest in peace and sleep well in the bosom of the Lord, my beloved pastor, Kennedy Kimson Koko, who we will miss you greatly. But a new social media report on Facebook has it that the billionaire is alive and reportedly woke up hours after he died. A lady identified as Maudulin Adeze Ekweme on the platform wrote that he is alive and his kinsmen have been rejoicing upon hearing the good news. Okoko is the founder and CEO of KDI Group, said to be involved in oil and gas. He was reputed to be the godson of former Nigerian leader Goodluck Jonathan. According to his Facebook wall, Okoko attended University Demonstration Secondary School, Choba. He also went to University of Port Harcourt. In 2018, he went for the certificate program in Harvard Business School. All right, guys, this is the new story. Now, the, the, the major um, issue here or the, the main news here is actually the miracle behind, you know, his reason from the dead. People like this, ob obviously, if not for the lockdown, 
and the COVID-19, you know, paralysis, he probably would have gone abroad for his liposuction um, surgery because he's wealthy and he's a billionaire. So probably for the sake of um, the lockdown, he had to uh, stay within the shores and, uh, you know, have his surgery in Nigeria because it was said to have been in Lekki, Lagos. So guys, you can see how poor, how bad our health sector is. If what the news is saying is actually true, that uh, the, the death was as a result of um, power failure. So guys, you can see how bad and how, how, how um, unfair, unfortunate actually our health sector has actually become. Lagos of all places. Are there no hospitals in Portacourt where he can actually have the surgery? Probably no. Or probably he preferred Lagos, probably because he, that's where he knows or he trusts or believes in, or probably that's where it was recommended for him. But somehow, somehow, a power failure issue led to his death, according to the news. We are not sure. We cannot authoritatively say, but we just have to follow what the news is saying. But so, as it is, guys, what are your thoughts? If not for the help of God, according to what we heard, or according to reports that are actually coming out, if not for the help of God, through his pastor, Pastor David Ibiyome of the Salvation Ministries in Port Accord, if not for his pastor who, you know, swung into action of praying and prayers, and those who prayed, what would have happened? The young man would have just gone and that would have been all, and that would have been the end of him. So you can see that miracles still happen. But... How many people have the opportunity and privilege to experience this miracle? How many people? Look at what the uh, lockdown, look at what uh, the COVID-19 has cost us. Look at the level of exposure uh, that this COVID-19 has, you know, brought about on our health uh, uh, sector. Ordinary ven ventilators that ought to be littering here and there cannot be found. Or we have so little of them that we are begging people, begging foreigners for ventilators. And hundreds of billions of naira have been budgeted yearly, you know, by our leaders for the health sectors. So what do they use these funds for? What do they use this money for? I think it's high time, you know, these leaders are all questioned. They should give account of every penny that they have administered or spent regardless of where port which party they belong to regardless of which tribe region they come from because if not for the help of god and the prayers of his pastor tell me if this young man had died and did not wake up if god you know did not wake him up what would have become of him and his family and loved ones what would have become of, his, of the Church of God? What would have become of the people of Bayelsa and Port Harcourt? How many people could be or will be privileged to enjoy this level of grace and miracle? How many people? But if our health sector is put in place, you know, the risk of people losing their life is, you know, will be very, very low. I stand to be corrected, but the truth remains that, you know, the government has a lot to do. The government needs to swing into action, put things in place, you know, give uh, a very high level of, uh, 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 dem or demonstrate a high level of uh, 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 um, professionalism in the health sector because it has to do with life and property. It has to do with the lives of people. It has to do with the bodies. It has to do with, you know, health all the way. So I believe our government needs to stamp their ground and you know return back to better infrastructure better leadership and style of governing if not for god's grace and mercy on the this man and his pastor what will have become of him so guys what do you think we are still in the times of miracles. That's just what it is. Probably God is just using this to send a message that he's still with us and he still loves us and he still appreciates us. So we just need to thank God for Pastor Okoko, uh, Kennedy Okoko. We just need to appreciate God for bringing him back to life. 
I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong on my views and opinions. But guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Why do you think this man was brought back to life? Why do you think, you know, he had to undergo the surgery? Why do you think, you know, um, or do you believe that it, it was prayers that brought him back? Do you believe in the power of miracles? Do you believe that, you know, God actually spared his life for a reason or not? Do you believe it, that he actually died and he was risen? Again, because this is Easter period. Well, guys, be that as it may, kindly drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification when I will post a new story. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.